back, back 40, family 2, starting to rebuild the beast or just rebuilding the beast part 1. I think this is the first vi I think this is the first video where I've actually filmed outside and probably three knife projects so probably maybe a month or two. We are outside. It's a glorious day. It is July. July, July, July 9th. That correct. It is July 9th. It is 5.43 p.m. I only have about an hour or two. Then we got some friends coming over um, for dinner and stuff like that. So, but I thought I'd go ahead and start filming this and now because I know myself and if I don't, I won't. Anyways, I apologize for the wind. This is kind of annoying, but as I just said, we are going to be rebuilding the beast. Now, you might be asking, why are you rebuilding the beast? One reason... For one reason is this thing was designed, this box was designed for coal forge and this thing is literally full of sand and probably ants and as you can see it is starting to grow some things and I have not forged in probably two months. And second thing I realized is with the box forges I've seen mostly it does not have any insulation, any insulation and the pipes are getting hot and it gets out up to here. All that stuff. So number one big reason is it is a huge old heat sink. That's one of the main reasons is it's just a huge old heat sink. And then for filming reasons, I need to shift it around a bit. Um, so I actually have good camera angles that does not show where I live because I ran into the ran into some of those problems uh, when I was filming uh, knife making videos when I was forging. Anyways, so I'm still gonna keep the two burners on the new one. I'm probably gonna go ahead and end up replacing everything from here down. It's all rusted, nasty. This is back when I didn't have drill presses. Um, I was not thinking straight on some of these holes and the tap. And then I'm gonna be redesigning this. These are gonna be gone. Um, I think I'm gonna do something like this picture. Um, Oh wait, that's copyrighted, so I don't think I could throw it in here. But anyways, I was basically gonna go, I'm gonna have a flange, and then I'm gonna drill a hole through the brick, and I'm gonna attach the flange to the brick itself. Um, something, something like that, I think. And then I'm going to try and curve as much as I can so I can keep uh, the most heat as, as I can in here. Um, something that Sam Towns Bladesmith said, I will leave a link into the live stream of uh, Forge Forge something 101 or whatever. Um, the reason why a lot of people use like helium tanks is because when it's rounded, when the heat bounces, it'll actually bounce back versus straight open like this. I think you can see that. Yeah, straight open like this, it just goes right outside there. So I'm gonna make it as curve, curve as I can and I'll probably still use Forge doors. And I also want this back axis. I also want to make this a back axis as well um, because I might be having someone else forge with me here soon. And then I'm going to have either my, I think hopefully my friend and an extra neighbor who has taken some bladesmith classes um, is going to help me redo this. But he will not be available this week, so possibly next week. But possibly next week. And uh, yeah. All it is going to be right now is drawing up new ideas and planning out what we're going to do and tearing this whole thing down. This guy is going to get knocked out to either a 2x4 or just a 1x4, but probably end up being a 2x4 um, and probably going to get raised and then forge brick. And then, as I said earlier, going to keep the two burners and probably the same amount of length this way. Then I think also the same height. I'm sorry for the camera angle. Try not to show where my house is. Anyway. Um, but it's going to be 11 inches this way because you don't want your blade in direct flame because it will oxidize it, you lose more mass to scaling, everything like that. So just real technical stuff that I know um, now. This, I'm going to try and keep this, I think I'm going to throw this on the new one and then somehow get it to where I can still put that on. Um, but we'll, you'll see. But as I said, if you can see all those ants, there's dirt in here is probably full of it. Um, and yeah, and there's subtle things of making sure this place is keeping 
This is being kept weed whacked, which I'm in charge of weed whacking this property. And as you can see, I've not been able to do so. One of those things mainly is I'm really busy with school and bladesmithing. And also, again, apologize for the wind. I started a new job, so I'm working Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and then doing school the other four days. Um, so now I actually have to work on this stuff on Sundays and stuff. So anyways, it's going to be fun trying to do a video a week because the new schedule is I'm working at least eight hours and at the most like 15 hour days so yeah it's real fun I like the new job a lot better than working on Sundays and that's enough of me talking I probably talked I don't know five three minutes five to probably six minutes probably but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and start taking down the forge or the beast I'm still gonna keep the new I'm still gonna keep the name for the new forge uh, because I'm hoping it will stay a beast. Anyways, 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 as always with the channel guys, let's get into some time lapse. So apparently that battery was dead and I have no idea when it cut out. So I took off the top and it's all stacked right here. Right, right there. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's another stack off to that side. So now I gotta get all, hey, where's my hands? There we go. I gotta get all that dirt into that wheelbarrow. But we'll see how much we're able to get done. Cause there are some clouds moving in that I don't like the look of. And it is 6 to 19 and we're having dinner at 7 30 so let's see how much we are able to get done let's get into more song let's get into some more time lapse Hopefully you can see what I'm pointing to. So what I'm doing next, now that I got all those out of the way, I'm gonna clean up the ground and then we'll see what we're gonna do from there. Alrighty guys, it is now the next day. Time checked for y'all. It is 2.53, 3 o'clock, and it is the 10th of July. Now let's get try and get this camera level. Anyways, I went ahead, redid the saw horses. I'm putting the forge opening is gonna be right here for filming purposes, so that way. I have all of these angles and I can actually get shots of the blades in the forge itself because before I wasn't really able to do that. I just won't be able to film with the camera shooting this way because I'd be pointing at my house. Remember that wheelbarrow is about to go bye bye um, and then I had to level out these pavers a little bit uh, and uh, yeah. Now let's go into the shed and I will show you what wood we're going to be using for the box and what my propane torches look like. As we are in the shed, still have to turn on the lights. It is ridiculously humid in here. I need to put some fans in here. When I was what I was thinking the other day is like cutting out boxes in the sheet metal on this wall back here, and then sticking like two by four frame in here, sticking some fans in there because it is ridiculous right now. 
it'll turn on. Anyways, these guys are in some pretty bad shape. I wasn't able to get these guys off at all. I was banging on it and everything. And then, yeah, as you can see, this one's really bad. As I said before, this is back before I had a drill press and everything like that. As you can see, you normally want that pretty straight. So that's probably why my flames were really bad. And uh, yesterday, when I said this piece was melted, it was that and stuff like that. So, still gonna keep this 90 and that 45, but I'm going to Ace Hardware tomorrow because Home Depot, because Home Depot does not have squat and brass fittings. So, this is what I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be rebuilding these. I'm rebuilding the burners, um, and yeah, because. As you can see, you generally want these pretty straight. So, that's going to be happening tomorrow. I'm going to be putting a list together tonight of stuff I'm going to do. And I will leave a link to, and I will also leave a link to the burner I'm going to be doing. I will, those are from the King of Random. When he did uh, his metal foundry, that's why the copper tips are in here. The only downside to the copper tips, if yeah, you, I had to replace them about after every forge or something like that. But with the new, after every forging time, so after about every five hours, which is kind of stupid when you think about it. Anyways, what I'm gonna be doing instead, what I'm gonna be doing instead of that is this little brass plug right here. Is it's gonna have that same size hole basically as that one up there so that's the new design if you watch the video that I link down below you'll see what I'm talking about anyways it is ridiculously humid in here um, it is ridiculously humid in the shop I mean ridiculous I have the doors open right now still for that so that way it can all go outside. It is so humid right now. I'm having trouble talking. Anyways, this piece of wood right there is what I'm gonna be building my box off. That's what I'm gonna be building my box uh, with. I think it's a one by four and about 12 feet long. And that is why it is so warped. Um, that is why it is so warped. And also, yeah. But anyways, guys, this is where I'm going to cut out this video because I have no idea how long this thing is already. Anyways, I hope y'all are going to have a great Saturday, I think is when I'm posting this. So you're seeing this um, two weeks from now. So yeah, hope y'all have an amazing day. And uh, yeah, guys, stay safe in that forge and keep hydrating. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching Back 40 Family. And if you're not part of the Back 40 Family, and if you're not part of the Back 40 family yet, all you gotta do, hit, this, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, please remember, Jesus loves you, I love you, and y'all, please have a fantastic day.